I want to do a little video on emergency lighting or prepper lighting and as you can see it's pretty dark in this room powers out could be powers out all the way down the street all over the city all over the state we don't know but because we have a small emergency solar powered generator as we call it videos online for that um, we have the capability to run a few things not a whole lot mind you because it is a very small like I said it was just a beginners but that's a whole nother story but we do have the ability to run some LED lights and these LED lights could make a difference between being able to accomplish some tasks without a flashlight having your hands free having some normalcy some actual lighting that makes you feel comfortable and um, sitting in the dark like we're doing right now so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the light so that you can see the difference can't really see anything here so let's see if we can do this and voila that's the difference it made now and yeah they are just that bright these super bright and they're actually considered the not so bright ones LED lights I purchased off of Amazon and I want to say I know they were less than $15 I'm thinking actually less than 10 and uh, free shipping so absolutely awesome um, but I know they were less than $15 definitely and we had talked about doing some we have some other lights the um, DC lights and stuff and so these are that's what these are these are LED DC strip lights okay and I don't know if you can if we'll be able to see without getting blinded here but there's 300 little lights in this string and I just kind of have them draped over right now um, I plan on putting them up there on the baseboards but we got them or not baseboards excuse me crown molding we we got them and I just wanted to test them see how they were going to work how efficient they would be and I did the mathematics on it we obviously wouldn't leave these running 24 hours a day because we wouldn't have a need for them to be on 24 hours a day but um, with the little um, solar generator that we have the capability to run these lights would go for well I actually worked on two sets because I was thinking two sets in this room but I don't know if we'd be able to stand two sets in this room it'd probably be absolutely probably too bright um, so anyway with just the one set we'd have the capability of running over 60 hours straight without recharging the battery and that is not depleting the battery that's taking it down to the point where the charge controller would cut off the power to save the battery okay so um, and like I said I, w I was initially looking at doing two strands so that's pretty good and that's you know of course saying if we were doing nothing but running the lights um, obviously we're not just going to be running the lights if it came down to it and hopefully would have a little bit larger system before then if it came down to it so um, but what I did is it, it comes with bare wires as you can see and since my little solar generator here has two of the um, lighter cigarette lighter adapter type thingies here um, I decided to go ahead and use an adapter like that the lights do not come bare wire on the one end um, so I happen to have one of these already in my go box that goes with my solar generator so I just decided to go ahead and hook them in the bare wires into the ends of that cigarette lighter adapter so that just worked out great um, they do have on off switches dimmer switches and whatnot so I am looking at perhaps getting one of those so literally just a few dollars but it would definitely make it a lot easier 
and I'm thinking about even making a permanent backup lighting station that would go in this room. Right now, if you can see, that's where the cables come from the outside for antennas and such. And since I already had a hole drilled through there, I went ahead and ran a cable through for one of our um, solar panels also that I keep in the back there. And it, again, it's just one of the small briefcase panels, but it takes advantage of the afternoon sun. The way our house is oriented, we get sun in the morning on the front of the house and in the afternoon in the back of the house. I know, I know. Not really wise choice, but um, when we bought the house many, many eons ago, we just really weren't thinking and didn't know any better, I should actually say. So, yeah, that's why we weren't thinking about it. But anyway, so the batteries have been plugged in for, or not the batteries, the lights, excuse me, have been plugged in for uh, about an hour and a half now, and you'll see no drain on the battery at all. Um, they're less than 5 watts, um, and they put out no heat, and they're really bright, so um, you might want to take a look at them. In fact, I think I still have the packaging here. And I do. Sorry, don't need to be swinging you around here. Um, yes, they are 3528 LED strip lights, and it's um, 5M 300 LED white, and they are waterproof. Some of them come with a peel and stick backing on them, the 3M. And I actually had thought that this one did, but it turned out it was a different one. But um, gonna order definitely some more of these, and perhaps make a, um, a like a little backup power station for each room. And I know that might seem kind of odd instead of doing a whole house system, but the fact of the matter is, doing a whole house system for the lighting and stuff is just not really with um, in our financial means probably. And at this time anyway, because again we're doing multiple things. And also, um, I just think convenience-wise, we, we don't use a lot of the ha of our house uh, on a regular basis just because of the size. It's, it's larger than we need anymore since, you know, there's not that many of us in home anymore. Children are grown. But anyway, so I thought maybe it would be more efficient to go that route. So what I'm thinking is probably doing like a little... Um, maybe 35 amp hour battery in each room because they are relatively small so they're easy enough to store and if you use the AGM safe enough to have in the house and you're not going to be using them probably you know all the time anyway like I said they're not going to be running 24 hours a day and when they're up and you know properly installed run a cable down to the corner have a power box in the corner there solar panel cable running in and over to the side um, you wouldn't even notice it it would not and then you know like I said put a um, a dimmer switch on off switch on it and you could just turn it on and off with the regular switch and that'd be pretty dang cool but anyway just something to keep in mind uh, another idea when it comes to lighting another light that we have are these that came with our Harbor Freight solar panel set and they're pretty good I'm not gonna complain they're I believe whoop yeah they're pretty tough too I've dropped them multiple times but they're just mm, they're five watts and but they're not really as bright as um, the LEDs and um, it's more directional so really what I've found is that these are great and we will use them and I already put um, Anderson pole connectors on the end that plug in real nice but I like the idea of these I think better for you know like emergency lighting if we were um, out and about maybe in the back of the truck or whatnot that would probably work so anyway just an idea